So I don't have a good place to put you in my bathroom, as you guys know, but I'm just about to take my shower um, and just get ready for Valentine's Day tomorrow. So I want to wash my hair and we're going to do over my curls tonight using my bathrobe. That's that blue and white right there. Um, so last night, because I knew I was going to shower today, I went ahead and I used my homemade rosemary water. I have shown that in a vlog before. I will leave a link down below. But it's really easy to do and I make that every two weeks and I use it every single day. So I coated my hair in that and then I also coated my scalp. As you can see, my hair definitely looks oily. I coated it really, really good to the ends and everything with some olive oil. So what I want to do now I'm going to run the shower, get it warmed up, and then I'm going to dye my eyebrows because it really needs done, and now's a good time as any. So this is basically like regular things I do, like little things, cheap, affordable, quick things that I do to make myself feel a little bit better, which one of those things is taking care of my hair. And then I use this Just For Men beard dye. I have also shown this on my channel many, many times, um, dyeing my eyebrows this and it just makes it really nice and easy and yeah I will show you anything else I use after I wash my hair I'm going to be using the mane and tail shampoo and conditioner and then putting my hair in this microfiber it's super cute strawberries but it's just a microfiber hair towel these are great you can get them anywhere you can get them on Amazon or whatever and then I'm also going to be wearing my, I got these at Christmas, I was gifted these. These are just some soft, it's really cold right now in Missouri. Um, just some hearts because that is as close as I have to like a Valentine's outfit um, besides like plain pink or something, but it's cold and these are warm. So we're gonna do that. And yeah, we will pick up after I get out of the shower. This is how the brows came out so yeah looks pretty decent and then obviously like once you wash your face it fades very quickly if it's too dark so I'm not even worried about it um I put my hair in this but before I did that I did the money honey repair serum from arctic fox I love this stuff and as far as lotion goes I put this bird's bees all over because my skin like gets really rashy after I shave if I don't I'm gonna use my Sabrina Carpenter the Caramel perfume. Look how cute this is. It smells so good. It's like chocolate and vanilla. It's just the best. And this packaging is adorable. I really want the pink one, but I don't have it, unfortunately. Um, so I'm just gonna use my oil pool and then brush my teeth with the Hello Charcoal. And then I'm going to apply some Vaseline to my face to keep it from getting dry. And then I will see you in a couple of hours once my hair is dry to do the overnight curls. So fortunately, I haven't figured out how to get a good bathroom angle. Maybe that's a little bit better. But I'm going to quickly do the overnight curls and put Vaseline on my face. And then I'm going to go to bed. So they have actual curlers um, to use for this. And I do have one, but... The rope tie is more comfortable. And I'm just gonna even it out so like these are at the same length. And I like to put it all the way back in the middle of my head rather than all the way forward, which I've seen some people do, um, which is fine. Like I've done it both ways, but I just recently started doing it halfway like this and it makes the curls more like loose already and not so intense. So I'm just taking a claw clip to secure it on my head and I'm gonna use hair ties to do this. So there's a couple different ways to do this and I don't know how to do any of the other ways. So I just take a chunk of hair and I wrap it around 
and then I grab another piece and wrap it around keeping this piece the whole time and just almost like a French braid you know and I just keep doing that and then like once you get to your ear you won't have um, hair to add anymore so I just wrap it around like this until I get to like that much hair and then just to kind of extra secure it I wrap it up like that and then I just take the hair tie okay so you look like that um and then it's gonna get worse because I like to sleep in a bonnet honestly you always should it helps with frizziness like I have seen such a difference in my hair when I use this um it's great and mine is reversible we're gonna do black to match my outfit so I'm going to tighten these like this and hold them in the back of my head I don't know how much you can see get it all in there And now I look like this so you know I look crazy but I have heard that the uglier you go to bed the prettier you wake up so yeah I don't know I might just wear these all day tomorrow I don't really have an outfit plan but I might do a little like eyeliner with that ColourPop Twilight red eyeliner and do some hearts maybe and you know I already got my brows done um, and there is a hairstyle I want to try. Not just these curls, but there's an actual hairstyle. And I don't usually do hairstyles. So, yeah. I'm just going to apply some Vaseline to my face. And I'll see you in the morning. Okay, guys. I just woke up. I took out my curls. Are you ready to see my Valentine's hairstyle? Because, oh, I think I got a scratch on my face. <laughs> um, it's awesome. Like, I want to wear my hair like this every day. Hopefully you think so, too. Okay. I'm going to show you in the mirror. This is so this I'm really bad at hairstyles so I normally can't do them but I think this is me stand on the plane wall <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm freaking out this is so adorable I've been laying on my hair and it's like frizzy because I don't use product in my hair but I love it and I just tried on a bunch of outfits different cute pajamas different dresses and I decided to go with pajamas so I'm just wearing this really cute, comfy pink shirt with my Sabrina sweatpants because they have the cute hearts. So yeah, we're just having a cozy movie night in. So yeah, I will try to show you in the mirror. Maybe you can see a bit better. So just a really comfy shirt with the heart sweatpants. <laughs> That's as far back as I can go. But yeah, just super cozy and cute. Now that we're comfy, I need breakfast. Basically, the Valentine's festivities are not happening until tonight. During, like, dinner time, we have some movie candy, and then, you know, we're going to do a movie. So, I need to pick out a movie. Um, I have these shelves of, like, rom-coms, so we might watch something there. Or, I have the bottom three of horror movies. Or, I have HBO, Hulu... Disney Plus has rom-coms. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We need to find something to watch. But I do want to vacuum my couch. So I'm going to clean the kitchen to get it ready for dinner tonight. And the cookies I'm going to make. Um, but yeah, I need to vacuum the couch. Basically, I have cats and the couch is velvet. So you can see all these little cat hairs and random things. They love to lay here. So there's just stuff everywhere. So, yeah, I'm just going to vacuum that. First, I need cantaloupe. So, I am going to clean the kitchen. We've got dishes, dirty counter, and then I'm going to cut a cantaloupe, eat that as my, like, snack breakfast. Because so far, I have only had tea. I had a Chamberlain coffee. I've shown these a ton, but in case you're new here, since this is a special Valentine's vlog. Salted caramel oat milk, you know as a vegan. You can't get caramel stuff, so that's amazing. And I don't think I've told my plans tonight. I was going to make homemade pasta, but um, we're honestly just thinking of using regular rigatoni noodles. And then I'm going to do um, mushroom stroganoff because that's our favorite thing right now. And 
I got this Funfetti icing. It's pink and it has pink sparkles. Um, sparkles. That was so weird. Sprinkles. Um, so I have homemade sugar cookie dough in the freezer that I already made. And I don't like icing, so I'm not going to make a whole batch because we only have like 10 cookies. So I'm going to use that. But I am going to whip it in my KitchenAid to make it like really fluffy and like give it more of that homemade buttercream feel. Um, oh, I should have got my ring light for this, but I forgot. And then for movie night candies, we have watermelon Sour Patch Kids and regular. And then we also have some just regular potato chips to snack on. So yeah, it's going to be a really cozy night in. Maybe have some coffee with dinner. So yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, so we're doing mushroom stroganoff. We're gonna do just regular rigatoni and then half an onion, spinach, two mushrooms, and then, so you're gonna like saute the veggies in that pan. One can of coconut milk, a spoonful of broth. This was the better than bouillon. And then season it and a splash of soy sauce. I do that in every single sauce I make. It just makes it so much better. My baking sheet is stained, but I just coated all these little sugar cookies in sugar. They're about to go in the oven. So the cookies are done and cooled off, hopefully enough, to ice. So I wanted to show you, like, this is, like, what it looks like in the container. And this is what it looks like after I whipped it. So it looks really just like fluffy. And then we're gonna put these little cute sprinkles. Mm -hmm. 